Hello friends, I am Ravi from Technetia CAD. Today we are working on Shincraft feature. So let's start with the feature. I am just opening a new file, creating a new file here. This is a part file. Get the solid feature and go for use default template. Give the name of the file. The file name I am giving here is sw shrinkwrap underscore feet. Uncheck the use default template. Use MMNS part solid. Click OK. And now we can save the file in manage session. Go for working directory. I am checking the Creo files directory. OK. Now save the file there. The location we have got here. Save this file. Now we are starting with the feature. Now you can see we are creating a solid feature here. Go for this plane, create some solid geometry like this. Give the center line. Now I'm giving the size. Give the symmetric value. The height you can manage here from 150. Click extrude. The value I'm giving here is 200 and then OK. Now what I'm doing here, I'm just going to create a shell feature there. The shell feature and I'm giving the value of the thickness is 5 millimeter. Update. Now just go for this plane again get new sketch change the visualization of the sketch now go for the project command I'm just checking this face and this face and the other one is this one so I'm just going to create one a spline feature here so just go for this so you can see we are managing the sketch here so now I'm just going to delete this one this extra geometry yes. now this is a close oxygen section we have got make a trim both side go for another side go for through all and done so now you can see we have created a surface like this right we want to make a cap of this so we cannot create a cap here, here because we have to work on assembly so we are we want to create another part with reference to this part so we are going to create one reference geometry here so just go for saving this file first create a new file With the name cap sw underscore cap now we are just going to create one shrinkwrap feature call that SW underscore feet feature open get the coordinate system this one is a external model second is local model click OK now just go for the reference and now click OK so geometry we have got here which is a reference geometry from external shield feature so now I'm just going to create one more means solid feature with reference to the previous one. Uh, you can see there if I'm changing this, you can see this is on the references. So if I am just going to create edit, go for option, you can see this is dependent feature. So this dependent feature means if I'm changing in the in the main part, it will also be changed. So if you see there, I'm just going to click OK and now. I'm opening a 
previous part also this is the SW fit now I'm just going to change something here I'm just going to change the thickness of this part the thickness is 5 millimeter I'm changing it to 10 millimeter update so thickness has been changed now if I'm just going to create change the size so I'm just going to create uh, this dimension to 200 so you will see there the height has been different so the size will be different now I'm just going to save this file and again I'm just going to uh, switch on the window and you will see there here is a button which is update button just go for this and this will show you the regenerate option so just go for regeneration and the part will also increased. and we can make it dependent or independent else so just go for update or edit geometry and go for dependent and just uncheck this part and to click ok now the part will not get changed if the model is changed now see one thing I'm just going to create one this uh, uh, plane and now creating a new feature there see there I'm just checking uh, this one and now I'm just giving the value delete this one make a projection one two third one and then fourth get another part so we can create an another part with reference to the surface make an exclusion give the similar value you can give some references also I'm just checking the surface the length and another one I'm checking this to select it and this one is the next one and you will see this is done and now we can give the thickness to is by just going for uh, hiding this uh, external geometry like this make a shell feature check this surface you, you can see there the part has been given shelled now I'm giving the thickness 10 millimeter and done. so you can see the object has been created with reference to the previous one this is the external uh, surface geometry which is can be, which can be hide or show right now we are just saving this file by hiding this save and then we can use this geometry these two geometry in assembly workbench so for just demonstration I'm just going to use an, an uh, assembly feature now just go for assembly and I'm now creating uh, a part uh, sorry I'm uh, calling a part so just go for the feed feature make it on default and done now the next part I'm just calling in assembly is feed cap and make it on default so they both will be on the same coordinate system so we can see these two has been created now I'm just going to make a section to see it from inside so this is a plane by which I'm going to cut this part so you can see the connection between them is totally fine you can see matching is totally fine any doubts here this is the feature which is Shinkra feature uh, we can use this feature for getting some references that's, that's all for today